moving in to support the Yacht Panther. This is a bad situation. This is looking pretty bad. Airborne trying to do what they can, but there's just too much fire from the Panther Grenadiers. They are forced back. And the Sherman is gone. I destroy coward toys! And the Germans hold the field. Oh, this is not looking good for Morello. No, indeed. Another Panzer IV out, too, so... He's got a significant amount of armor, he's got a big blob of infantry, he just ran over the Sherman. Probably your regular AI callousness, not out of spite. From Morello, though, we have a Sherman Crocodile. A Crocodile? Interesting choice, given the Unfortunately, well, it's definitely going to help him against the blob, but right now, his chief anti-tank weapon is that airborne squad. And with that Panzer IV around to keep an eye on the Yak Panther, that's going to take some damage. He's still got sticky bombs, and he is recruiting... Oh, he just recruited two AT guns, so... Maybe this fight won't be so one-sided after all. Yep, that is true. They, the, the Panzer Elite failed to destroy the guns or take them themselves, rather... So, Morello still has something. That Panzer IV is starting to look pretty bad. I don't think it's going to take another shot. The Yag Panther has a dis uh, damaged engine, too. You think it's a sacrificial play on the German player's part to save the Yag Panther? Possibly. But yeah. it kind of takes two to tango in that situation. Oh, uh, the Allied oh. player could have just bypassed the Panzer IV. Crocodile is on a base raid in the Panzer Elite's base. But now there's an AT squad ready to put some Shreks in its rear armor. Oh, he uh, just had a strafe on a on a, a flanking squad of Panzer Elite which was going up his AT guns. Both AT guns are now down. The strafing run not as uber as it used to be, I guess. Uh, didn't take down much. Yeah, that is true. I, I have my complaints about the fact that straight doesn't seem much anymore. This airborne squad just found itself in, its, in a very bad situation, getting an envelope from all sides. They're retreating, but they've been slowed. Oh, but now but they're the retreating from the crack. <laughs> Got a second piece of armor coming out from Morello. Looks like another crocodile. So while the Germans have held a lot of map control, they've they are now going to lose it because all of their infantry are now focusing on repairing the Yacht Panther. So right now, Zena does not have the map presence to sustain control of the territories. True, and that would be a great spot for an artillery shell. Yes, it would, but he didn't go infantry. We lose a sector. Well, even a bombing run would do, but uh, unfortunately, Morello doesn't have one of those just yet. Uh, another Panzer IV. Morello coming is out. Uh, trying to solidify his position. He's bringing stuff onto the field. He's bringing in supply Maybe drops to give himself it. some more munitions, and he's uh, he's actually picked up one of the MGs. He's going to stick it in his house to the west. Well then, I bet he's hoping for any sort of edge against that massive infantry. And now that they're getting Panzer Shreks, it's going to be even more tenuous to deal with that. Speaking of that mass, here they come again. Yeah, combined arms of tanks and infantry moving into the center to, to once again assert German dominance. Sticky bomb with AT gun opening fire. Now would be a very good time to use that MG, but uh, he's kind of got it sitting around. Draping run takes out one squad. Strife. Oh, squad down. They've almost got that AT gun. But this AT gun is gone. Crack trying to. It sounds like AP rounds on that MG, but it's not going to. Do anything at all to that Panzer IV. Well, if he popped it, it was kind of a waste. Croc being forced back due to the Yacht Panther and Shrek infantry. 
M10 tank yeah, destroyer on the field. Oh, this is not looking good for the Panther IV. He's turning around, which is not what you want to do against that light, fast tank destroyer. That's right, but he just wants to get within range of that Yag Panther. Two shots, and that thing is done. But he's he's gonna go for the kill shot again. But he loses the M10. And he loses his tank in return. Oh, did you think that was worth it? Ah, it, it was nice to take down some of the Axis anti-infantry capability, but uh, no, I don't think that was worth it. He should have kept the M10 back. He needs anti-tank anti right now. His AT guns have been destroyed. His troops have been decimated. Again, all he's got left for AT is the Airborne Squad. And that's not going to do it against that Yag Panther. Alright, we are at the 33 minute mark of 33 minutes, 4 seconds, 5 seconds, 6 seconds, and counting with the Americans at 131 VPs, but it's now swung their way with 420 for the Germans. But the Germans are sitting pretty comfortably at this point. They have asserted dominance once again. The Yacht Panther w restored to full health once again. Oh, goodness. For the Americans, we've got another one of those almost dead AT guns on the west. Uh, sorry, on the right side of the map. Got the MG, which actually managed to survive, though it's only down to two men supporting it. Some rifle squads, airborne, just kind of moving around. Two crocs, they're currently being restored to health. One of them is almost completely destroyed. But uh, the Allies are in pretty sad shape right now. A con concentrated push by the Axis could end this game right now. The VPs are now back in favor of the Axis. The Allies are ticking down. We're now at 117 to 420. And the Americans trying to once again take the right-hand side territories around the farmhouse, but here comes the German infantry. And there. there's the MG. I don't think it's providing enough suppressing fire to really pin them down. Still taking it's fire. It's providing just enough to get that croc in there. Perfect flank. That just forced back all of Xena's infantry to base. That Yav Panther is on its own, but at this point, you know, Marlow has nothing to take it on. That's true, but Xena seems a little bit more tentative with the with tanks now, after the previous losses with the Panzer IV. Not willing to risk that Yag Panther just yet. AT gun opening up. Yeah, Panther taking fire. American infantry trying to decap from behind. German infantry responding. Bombing run now available for the uh, allies. Uh, Here comes the bombing run. Ooh, it's coming in on that infantry. Cab. And three men down. But no squads lost. Not really. Yeah, not really a good return for 250 munitions. I would have to agree. Ken Kred takes the left-hand VP for the Axis and is escaping from the Airborne Squad. Morello goes WTF at that. He's, yeah, he's probably just about as surprised as we were about how ineffective that bombing run was. True, the troops were retreating, but you'd think it would have done more. Once again, the massive German infantry following their mighty Yacht Panther into battle on the right-hand side. Oh my, that poor MG has to face the Yacht Panther alone, and there goes one man already. And that gives enough XP for the Yacht Panther to get Defensive Vet level 1. If it gets three levels of Defensive Vet, it's over, I think. Now we've got an incendiary nade on the empty building. This is actually the second time Xena did it. Uh, he seems to not like that building. Well, you know, Xena's tank hunter, so floating a lot of munitions right now. 244, so, you know, what else are you going to do with it? Okay, Morello is bringing out another Sherman. <laughs> 